we had some, we've had people ask us, well, show the, show the bracket out of the, out of the concrete. So that's what we're going to do. This bracket has been around for quite a while. Um, this bracket's in thousands of buildings in the Midwest. Extremely strong. Um, there's your little locator tab that we weld on. Um, your sides are continuous. They're not bent. The rebar is not welded to the bottom plate entirely. The rebar is also welded right here in a two inch long continuous bead. So this part right here, this much is buried into the concrete. You've got this pad to hold your pier up or hold your column up off the ground so your bottom of your post doesn't get wet. Um, we've had people voicing concern about that. Um, that's why this base is put in there so that it doesn't get your column wet. Um, anyway, we put the hooks on the rebar in case um, you know you didn't get good adhesion around the rebar, you got a hook on the bottom. Now, everybody says, well, why do you use half inch rebar? Well, to pull one of these into the, um, the rebar industry says it takes 180,000 pounds just to pull one of them into. So you're 360,000 pounds of force plus you're buried into the concrete. Um, this foundation system is strong as it can get. We've not, we do not know of any bracket failure in thousands of buildings. We know that tornadoes have hit the buildings and they stand. Um, usually if a building does get destroyed, these brackets are still in really good shape and you can build another building right back up on top of them. Um, unfortunately, I don't want anybody's buildings to get hit by tornadoes, but if you do, um, you know, usually these brackets survive and you can put another building right back up on top of them. So anyway, that kind of tells a little bit about the bracket. Again, we went over that there's the hole here. Uh, you can see the concrete. You also can stick a rebar down in. There's two different size holes in these brackets. This is for the large three and a half inch legs right here. This is for the quarter inch by two inch long legs. We call them a temporary leg. What we like to do is get things close and then we'll put a bottom screw in, okay? Then they put an eight foot level on the side of the column. Once they know it's really pretty close to level, they'll stick another one in. Then they level from side to side and then they put these two in. That's what we call our temporary legs. Once you've got your building kind of up and square and you're confident you're not gonna move it much, then we pre-drill a little quarter inch hole in there and run your three and a half inch legs in. That keeps this yellow pine columns from, you know, splitting and cracking. So anyway, that's kind of a install part there.